and we're live in the building with Dan Stokes. Hello, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I uh, it's been a pretty crazy day. Yeah. Yeah, my first nice. ever wedding, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I was telling you earlier, it was mad, man, mad. I can't yeah. it's, it's, it's taken me this long to be invited to one. That's what I'm saying. Wait, yeah. So am I doing something wrong? I don't know. Nah, man, nah, nah. It's all in due time. All course, in due time. All in due time. And we're gonna kick things off strong as we usually do. Big up Ace Visuals behind the camera, behind the cameras, yeah. I should say. Yeah, as we got free monitoring us right here, as we do the podcast. So honestly, yeah, man, it's. Um, Nice to have you in the building, Dan, man. Thank you for coming again. Of course. Um, yeah, just want to know a bit about your background, man. I see you, you, you're an artist, but you're also a filmmaker. That's right, that's right. So, so yeah, tell them a bit about that. Like, yeah, how did you get I started mean, in that field? Uh, how did I get started? Wow. Well, mm. well first off, I guess um, I make sort of like visual art. At the moment, I'm working on what you're doing now. Mm. It's, um, do you do most of the filming yourself or you... Or have you got someone that does a film and you're directing or are you filming the content mm, yourself? Mm. You're filming? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I do film. I do film yeah. all the stuff myself. Um, of course, you know, that, that comes with exceptions. Of yeah. course, I've got a few sort of like talented friends who are sort of like DOPs and camera operators yeah. and stuff. So if, if a project calls for me to sort of, you know, appear in the video, then... Yeah, I have you that kind of that could... network of contacts to fall oh, back nice. on and say, listen, yeah. are you free on this day? Let's mm -hmm. go and shoot this. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but yeah, the uh, as, as as we were talking about before, before we started recording, um, like the, the show that I'm working on right now is a kind of, um, it's very sort of like improv based, kind of skit comedy type yeah. stuff with um, sort of like a hosted sort of section. And so yeah, it's... Yeah, I've watched, I've watched that. Yeah, of course. And leading on from that, mm. kind of going back behind the scenes with production. Yeah. When you're, because obviously you, when you're not filming, you're mm. in front of the camera. That's right. Yeah. But you're, you, are you still directing at that point? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So how do you, when you're in front of the camera, how you, how do you balance How do you that find like sure. yeah, directing yeah, yeah. the camera guy and what to do? Yeah. I, how is that? Well, I suppose so. With this project specifically, it's quite simple and straightforward because whenever I appear on screen mm. it's more kind of continuity section so um, the general format is that I'm in a set um, and we shoot on like a little green screen I built I, I we sort of built like a kind of miniature set that I, I sort oh, of sit in nice, which is yeah. cool yeah um, and again that's another thing it's just sort of like figuring out what you have at your disposal mm. okay so if you don't have a, a set to hand maybe you can just like I don't know make one and it's yeah, exactly it's good sort of playing with what sort of what what you have to hand but but yeah when um, when whenever I'm sort of like in front of the camera generally it's pretty easy to direct because again any kind of like camera operator that I would get in would sort of be on board with what the kind of vibe is and yeah, what the yeah, kind of yeah. vision is generally. Yeah. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm very lucky in that regard as well because I can certainly imagine sort of like getting someone along who maybe doesn't quite get what mm, the tone is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you recommend, because like a lot of people say that if you're, if you're acting, mm. that it's, it's, um, you should get someone else to direct, but obviously mm. you're you're going about it in a, in mm. doing it your way. You're still being, being able to do it, and you've done it yeah. successfully. Mm. So, would you recommend that to other actors that want to direct Ooh. their own projects, or would you say it's better to kind of let the yeah get someone else in to direct it and that, so that you can that's see? That's a really interesting question because, of course, you know, I can uh, this you know this project has a very specific format and formula and again like it's kind of very reality based in a sense you know if 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 it were to come down to you know a full-on sort of like scripted project like a short film or like a, if you're shooting like a tv pilot or something which i have done in the past um it's from what i find when you're actually acting and you're actually delivering a scripted yeah. dramatic performance Maybe I uh, maybe I'll give you a, a different answer next time. I, next time yeah. I speak to you, you know, yeah. with, with experience. But I think I would I would probably want to have a director on hand who can just sort of oversee that section. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it, it really comes down to kind of what the format of of whatever the shoot mm. is. You know.